Hey everyone, this is Will McAdam, founder of Privacy Duck, and I'm back here today to talk with you about how to do a dead link request on Google. That's not nearly as macabre as it sounds, I promise. So what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, we're going to explore what exactly are dead link requests. We're then going to uh, go through an example of a link that was live but now is not and how we kind of speed the process in getting that done from Google. Um, if you go to our comparisons page and you know you'll understand why this is so important um, as part of your privacy cleanup as we go. If you go on that page we are uh, the only company um, that does dead link request. You know um, I have verified that independently um, before. So um, that is something that you know uh, other companies provide instructions for you to do. If you have our paid services, we do that for you um, as part of that. However, if you're doing the DIY route, which we totally dig, um, it's down here if you go to free opt-out resources. We have a bunch of information that's growing, um, that's continuing on about uh, how to delete yourself from these websites. Um, and we go through the exact processes that we do here at Privacy Duck for our clients. Uh, we show you that same thing, full transparency, full here's what you get. Um, but we're gonna teach you now on something uh, that we've referenced in other videos, um, in our how-to guides, but we've, you know, haven't shown before. Um, and, you know, we just haven't gotten to that yet, but here it's very important and people call us about this and we want, uh, we want you to know um, how to do this for yourself. So a dead link request is, we're gonna go over here um, to Google and we just put somebody in at random, uh, Michael Smith in Santa Monica. We chose Noomber as the website because they have an instant uh, deletion on there so uh, so you can see right now as we're doing this live uh, the before and after results of a dead link request. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we'll see that yes it is a live web page. It exists, it's in Google. Um, there it is. Okay. So we're just going to come back here now and leave this tab. Um, but what I'm going to show you now in a few minutes is after we opt him out, which is what we're going to do now. Um, it's not a client of ours. We all know this cat. Um, just, <laughs> hi, Michael. But, you know, here we go. But um, so uh, we'll come back to this and you'll click on it and we'll go, to, we'll go to a page not found, even though this information is still there. Um, normally, to have this entire thing come off or this entire thing, would take several weeks for Google to catch up uh, to the fact that a page is gone. Um, by doing a dead link request, that only takes a few days on average. And so let's begin that process now. Um, we're going to assume you already have a link that is dead. Um, but again, we're just going to do that now um, with this page. So um, I'm going to copy, actually, I'm going to Go ahead and copy him because I want to keep this tab open to show you all. Um, I don't know why I just said you all. I apologize. Uh, so let's go to Control V and let's go ahead and um, just go over here and back over here. So now we have him up here. We're going to opt out this page real fast. Um, we have a separate video for how to opt out of Noomber um, in which I'm going through this process step by step including Gorilla Mail, the throwaway email address we use. Um, don't try to follow along with Noomber right now um, in this video. Um, go to the other video on our page specifically about Noomber um, and you know we will uh, check that there. Oh, looks, that's right. They are now doing throwawaymail.com at Noomber, not Gorilla Mail. So let's go on that here. And again, I'm just going through the process of deleting the page that was live that we just looked at. So I'm verifying my identity, hitting remove. Okay, now I have to go and validate my email. Confirm, confirm, confirm. And so this now tells me my data has been removed. Cool. 
So if I go back to Google, remember I just went through the process of deleting this record, but now I click on it and it goes to a 404 not found. Um, but we obviously still want to get this record off of Google um, here. If I hit reload on Google, obviously that same process, that, that same listing still comes up again, going to a dead link. So that demonstrates right now um, that Google's uh, does not update instantaneously. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. And so we want to speed that process up. So what you'll want to do is you'll need to have a Gmail account. If you don't have one, uh, go to mail.google.com and get one. You do not have to use your real name or your real city and sign up. Um, so there's nothing terribly invasive in that process in and of itself. Provide the minimal information you need to sign up and just move on with it and get that uh, Google account. Once you have that, you'll want to come to this page. Now I'll put this link in our description uh, field so you can go ahead and just go right to it. But it's uh, google.com backslash webmasters backslash tools backslash removals question mark PLI equals one. So uh, there's that already. You can just link to it. Um, you can also find it on uh, Google search engine by typing in uh, remove outdated content tool. Um, again, you'll need a Gmail account to access this page. Um, it used to be called dead link request, and that's why we still just refer to it that way. It was very recently changed uh, to this name here. But so once you are on this page, go ahead and go back to the page you're trying to opt out of. Do not right click and go to copy link address. Why do I say that? Because that does not give you the link you'll need because it is this massively long, weird google.com search engine link. That's not the link of the actual page you need. So in order to get that link, you have to click on the actual page. Um, and once you're there, now you can click up in your browser and hit control C, control copy, or right click and hit copy. Come back over to your uh, Google remove outdated content tool. And now you'll just want to paste that right in there and you'll click on request removal. Um, it will process a little bit. Um, it will say analyzing URL. Um, best case scenario, you'll see this page um, and it says the content is gone. Um, you know, and that you can just go ahead and click on request removal and, uh, you know, it's pending. Uh, you'll come back to that in about two or three days and it will have the approved status for you. Um, it might occasionally be denied for whatever reason. I don't know why. If that does happen, um, go back in there and just do the same process again. Um, these are real people um, in warehouses someplace <laughs> that uh, approve and disapprove these. So um, if one person says no, the next person might say yes. Um, that has been our experience. Um, and so also you'll want to do, um, it, it might come up and say, uh, we don't recognize this page as being gone. Please explain. Um, and there'll be a little box that will pop up here that will have you type some information in. And you'll basically want to tell them exactly how the page is different. Um, for example, you'll want to say something like, Michael Smith, Santa Monica, California, previously appeared on this page. This has been updated and no longer appears. Please update the listing and then hit submit. Um, language verbiage of that nature. Um, don't assume make, you know, again, think of these people who are working on these uh, requests and they're getting hundreds of these per hour. Um, make their life as easy as you can. Uh, be descriptive and informative in exactly why you are requesting uh, this change if they ask for it. So, and again, this um, this does not do anything immediately on here. Um, you'll still see this listing. It will still be on Google, but again, in two to three days, it will be reviewed. 
um, on average, you know, sometimes it takes a couple days longer, so be a little patient there. But um, as long as it says pending, it's being reviewed, um, and then once it says approved, you should no longer see any of this right here about this link on Google. And you'll have to uh, do this process for each and every link uh, web page reference uh, that has you if you want to get the information off faster instead of uh, just waiting. Again, if you want to wait a little bit, that's fine too, and that will happen. So um, anyway, if you have any questions about this process or any uh, you know confusing um, items, um, I can explain more or anything along those lines. Um, please do leave uh, your comments and questions in the comments field. I will respond to those, and we can, we can talk more about uh, how to get your uh, information cleaned up from the search engines once these pages are gone. Um, my name is Will McAdam. Once again, uh, please do like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate that. And share this video with your friends um, if you're so inclined. Uh, that's also extremely helpful for us as well. So thank you so much and have a great day. We appreciate your time and uh, take care. Until next time, bye-bye.